One of my subscribers asked if I could do metallic silver candy apples. Yes, I can. Here you go. In this candy apple tutorial, I will show you how to make metallic silver candy apples. I will show you how to dip your metallic silver candy apples, how to make bows and decorate your cute metallic silver candy apples. This is Candy Apple TV. I am your host and founder, DIY Queen Diva. I am using metallic silver by Chef Masters, and you can find this in my Amazon bake shop down in the description box below. I am adding my silver for my metallic silver candy apples. I am gonna go ahead and give this a stir. This is an airbrush food color. I will continue to stir to make sure my color is even. Now what you wanna do is tilt your pot towards you before you dip your apples. Then you take your apple and you dip inside your candy apple mixture. I bring the apple up and let the candy apple mixture drizzle off the apple. Then I take my beautiful metallic silver candy apple and scrape the extra candy apple mixture on the side of the pot. This gives me the perfect silver metallic candy apple. This is so cute. I use the 321 candy apple recipe, three cups of sugar, two cups of water, and one cup of Cairo syrup. You can use regular light corn syrup. Again, you tilt your pot with your candy apple mixture towards you. You dip your apple. You bring your metallic silver candy apple up. Then you scrape the bottom of your beautiful metallic silver candy apple on the side of the pot to get the extra candy from the bottom of the apple. Now look at your beautiful metallic silver candy apple. This is a beautiful metallic silver candy apple. You don't need any extra equipment. Someone asked me if I needed any extra equipment to make metallic candy apples. No, all you need is the metallic food coloring, whether you're going to make your apples gold, silver, or whatever metallic color you want to. Okay, so I am dipping my apples. Scraping the bottom of my silver candy apple on the side of the pot to get the extra candy from the bottom and Look at my perfect metallic silver candy apple. These are gorgeous So again, all you need is your metallic airbrush food color and that's it besides your sugar water corn syrup things like that Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and make candy apple bows. You guys know the routine. Make sure you have enough tail hanging. Then you're going to go around your index and middle finger. And then you're going to come up in between the two. And then you're going to wrap the ribbon around your index finger. Right now, I'm just straightening out the ribbon. It's trying to fall off my finger. So I am just wrapping this ribbon around my index finger. So now this should be behind your middle finger. Then you're gonna take this extra ribbon and you're going to tuck in between the two, your index and your middle finger. You're gonna tuck this ribbon in between the two until it reaches the other side of your hand and then you're going to flip your hand over. So right now, I am just going to tuck the ribbon in between my index and middle finger. Sometimes you have to straighten out your ribbon because um, I have short fingers, so the ribbon is always falling off. So you may have to straighten out your ribbon from falling off. So now I'm just tucking in the ribbon until it reaches the other side. Okay, so I just pull this out. I pull my ribbon, tighten up my ribbon. I just flap this ribbon over to form my bow and I flip my hand over and I take this ribbon and I tuck the ribbon under the flap that sits on the bottom right side so you just tuck that under then you pull the ribbon up to secure the ribbon so that's what I'm doing here I'm pulling the ribbon up and then pull down 
Okay, then you take the ribbon off your fingers. You can fluff your ribbon or you can cut your ribbon. If you don't want any tails, just cut your ribbon as close to the knot as you can. This is a cute metallic silver candy apple bow. So I am going to cut my tails here. So I cut my tails. I don't want to cut the tails too close to the knot because I don't want the bow to unravel. And then I burn my tips so the bow doesn't unravel. So you take a lighter and burn your tips. Okay, so now I am fluffing out my bow. I am fluffing out this cute metallic silver candy apple bow. Okay, this is so cute. Now I am going to attach the bow on the candy apple stick. I guess I need to show you that. So what you do is you flip your silver metallic candy apple bow over and you put a small amount of hot glue on the back of your candy apple bow and then you just attach it to the candy apple stick. Then you straighten out your bow to make it cute. I'm going to show you again how to attach the bow on your candy apple stick. So I'm using just a little small amount of hot glue. I am attaching this on the back of the candy apple bow and then I attach the candy apple bow onto the candy apple stick. Then I fluff out my cute, beautiful candy apple bow. I attach a little hot glue or I put a little hot glue on the back of the bow and attach the metallic silver candy apple bow to the candy apple stick. Then I fluff out my bow to make it cute, to make sure everything is even and cute. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep updated with all of my video tutorials on the weekends. Well, don't you dare leave here without leaving a comment. <laughs> Your feedback really matters. So make sure you make a comment down below to let me know if you like these metallic silver candy apples. Do you like the metallic airbrush food coloring or do you like the luster dust? Make sure you leave your comment down below and if you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you stay to watch my next video coming right up and I'll meet you over in a few seconds in the next video.